Uh, you know, we knew at the start of the year our division was strong and this was going to be a team we'd probably have to go through. So, uh, you know, for us, uh, you know, it was a challenge we knew we'd have to face and I thought we did a great job and we answered the bell tonight down two to one. Uh, you know, we gave a little extra and we were able to uh, finally finally knock off the Toledo Wal Walleye. We've been a good team for, for uh, the past few years. So, uh, you know, kudos to us, but we still got uh, two more rounds to go and uh, now we're going to focus Focus our attention on Colorado. What does it mean to be able to punch it at home in front of these fans? Uh, it's great, you know, playing in front of that crowd. You can tell, uh, you know, there's points in the game where, uh, you know, the energy in the building. We had a few scoring chances, and uh, you know, they, they they created a little energy in the building. And I, th I thought that's right when we needed it, about 10 minutes left in the third. And uh, you know, it's always nice to play at home and have those important games at home. And I, I thought we did well, and it was nice to have the fans behind us. I don't know if you know much about the football history, but Steve Young in the Super Bowl, they pulled a monkey off his back. Did it kind of feel like that, taking taking down Toledo? Yeah, definitely. I think for the guys who've been here for a few years, uh, you know, they've they've seemed to have our have our number the last few years. And uh, whether it was regular season or playoffs, they were a tough team to beat. And uh, you know, I thought all year this year we we did some important things. We beat them. In in their building we gained some confidence throughout the season and uh, you know in the playoffs we uh, you know we, we didn't have fear of losing to them we uh, we knew they were a team we could beat and we believed in ourselves and I thought everyone came together as a team and we played a great uh, great bunch of hockey games in this series and uh, that's what it takes to win and beat good teams like Toledo. Was there something different in this year's matchup as far as maybe that differentiated this year from past years? I think we have a little bit of a different dynamic this year. Uh, you know, our decor is, was you know big and heavy last year, and uh, you know, not, not that I, I blame blame our losing on that or anything like that, but we do have a different dynamic this year where we got uh, you know everyone can skate on this team, and uh, we got good puck moving players, and uh, you know a lot of guys that came here know Fort Wayne wants to win, and that's that's what they came to do, and I, I think that's important too to a winning culture. Is, is having guys that are here for the right reasons and, and you know I believe in these guys I think they have great attitudes and, and that's what we built a team on this year. What do you need to do to beat Colorado who's the reigning champ they just come off a sweep what do you need to do against them? Uh, you know I think I think it's we got to play our game play to our strengths like I just said you know we're we're a quick team we move the puck well um, you know we have the pieces here so it's just a matter of you know playing a good brand of hockey it's doing the little things and you know all those cliches you hear about winning teams uh, you know, they're truths. So it's blocking shots. You've seen a lot of that. We had good goaltending. Um, you know, I thought I thought everyone was physical this series. So, uh, you know, we're going to continue to play the same way and try to get better. And, and uh, you know, our, our ultimate goal is here, to, is, here is to win. So, uh, you know, we're one step closer right now, but we're still not satisfied with uh, what we've accomplished so far. Uh, it's, I mean, it, it feels good. It's a relief uh, more than anything. Um, you know, it's just... Like I said, for guys like me, Cody, and you know Gary, guys have been around. You know, it's kind of been our kryptonite. So uh, just to watch the way guys played was an amazing feeling, and you know we're going to enjoy it for tonight. But tomorrow's a, another series, and we got to look forward to that. Did it feel like Steve Young in the Super Bowl where they took the monkey off his back? I, I mean, yeah, pretty much. I mean, for me, you know, it's. Uh, I think I was, you know, nervous the whole series, and not nervous that we were going to lose, just more nervous because you know what anything can happen against those guys they're a good team uh they coach well um you know we're both a great matchup so um you know it, it's when anyone gets momentum it's scary in the series so um just to be able to you know score that empty net goal tonight and kind of just go oh. and you know i kind of kind of looked up and you know that was for for bob too because i know me and bob talked about beating toledo a lot so uh, i was happy to be able to do that a team that's down two to one in the series against a tough Toledo team to reel off three straight. What does it speak to this team and what they're capable of? Well, like I said, I mean, I think uh, just the amount of heart, like I said, you know, in, in this room. Um, we got guys, you know, like Marco Wa, who's, you know, banged up all over the place. And you see him, he's probably blocked four or five shots tonight. And, you know, he has ice packs all over his body after the game. And there's, you know, multiple guys have done that. And guys are playing through injuries and, you know, just giving everything they have. And just, uh, you know, that it's a victory in that, you know, even if we lose just to watch guys do that. So it's, a, it's great to be able to pull out this series. What do you need to do against Colorado, the team that's the reigning champs? Coming off a sweep. Yeah, you know, we don't really know too much about them as of right now. You know, we went out there early in the year, only played one game. So uh, I'm pretty sure they have, you know, half of a new team. So 
uh, you know, we'll definitely be getting our video sessions in and, uh, you know, we'll come up with a game plan, have a couple practices before that and uh, head out and get some nice weather. Uh, it feels good. Um, I haven't been here as long as some of the other guys, but uh, I know it's pretty special to them because they've had their number for the past few years. So uh, to get a win like that, it feels good. And uh, I don't think I had my best stuff tonight, but it's good to know that, uh, you know, the guys had me with three goals and, uh, you know, even when uh, I'm not feeling the best or fighting the puck a little bit, we can still come out and get a win. You guys were down two games to one in this series. You reel off three against this team. What does this mean to this team to reel off three against Yeah, we were just talking about that. Three straights, pretty impressive to come back in any series. Uh, you know, game four was huge. Today. Game four was huge to win that one and then uh, to go in back to back in their, in, uh, into their rink and win game five. That I think after that we had a good feeling that we were going to win the series. What do you need to do against Colorado who has a very good goaltender as well? Yeah, it's uh, it's different because you know we're playing up in the final four now, and we've only seen them one time this year. So um, it's not like Toledo that we've seen a dozen times during the regular season. So we're gonna have to you know watch the video, maybe learn a couple of their players, and uh, prepare like we always do.